right, there you go. Good. Hi, Good to see you guys again. See you. We finished. Beautiful. You want to have a look? Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so that's what it is now. We've got the fridge running already. Cool. Uh, you didn't put any beers in it for me, or? I haven't yet. Oh, come on. Right. <laughs> Sorry for the letdown. That's all right. <laughs> So yeah, your travel buddy is all hooked up. Uh, it's all removable from the back, so just in case you have to take the shelves back out. The stereo system is hooked up that Chris put in there. Cool. Uh, we've used from this panel what we could. Yeah. So we got the screen working, we got the inverter control working. Yeah. Uh, then you've got another switch panel back oh, there. The charging station. That's a little charging station, so you can lie down your phone, head torches, whatever. Yeah. And you got two twin USBs, two accessories, and then you got three light switches for the light on the roof rack on this side, the two lights on the back of the canopy, and another light on that side. Yeah. You've also got switches on the inside. So you can either turn them on while you're camping from there, or while you're driving and you're doing tracks, you can just turn everything on and off from the cap. So yeah. If you are at a gnarly section, you can see what's actually happening around here. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, oh, and you got the National Lunar Lights on all yeah. canopy doors. So they got three dimming stages and they turn back off. Or when you turn them on and you keep your finger on it, they turn to orange. And you got three dimming stages there as well. Handy. It's important that you can't just do that. You have to put your full yeah, okay. finger on it. Yeah. So I'll need a step. Or yeah, trampolines. <laughs> 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 it's hard with the holding it for three seconds yeah, with the trampoline. Really yeah. <laughs> uh, your 240 outlet is here. Yeah, cool. So we got a power board in there and you got four outlets. It's also on Velcro, so if you have to move it a little tiny bit, you can yeah. just take it off and put it back in. That's a good spot there. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. It's tucked away. Yeah. Uh, this is the heart of your installation. Up here, you got all the fuses, everything on the Egan DC hub. So everything interconnects there, just in case you ever have a problem or a fault, you should see a LED light coming on for a blown fuse. Yeah. And if you ever have to test something, everything connects there. So you only have to go in there. Cool. Uh, the other stuff is all mounted behind the fridge and behind this panel. You get your manager in there, your BCDC to help the manager and yeah. the inverter mounted on the side as well. Yeah, beauty. Yeah. And your little vent up the top which is actually working. We had it all oh, running good. and there's hot air coming oh, it is, out of yeah, the cool. So when we're driving, it will circulate air in there as well, which you probably want as well, I, I think it would, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah that's what I'm saying. It should, the hot air rises up anyway, so I yeah, think okay. it would just exchange. Yeah, no, that sounds good. And then you got that 200 watt panel up the roof. Yeah. That is connected. You can see that is doing 60 watt at the moment. You got that little indicator here, so you can see the actual wattage it's doing right now and it's already done 250 watt hours today mm -hmm. of charging but we've been charging it discharging the battery just to test everything yeah okay cool. your battery itself is in here yeah beautiful but i don't think it's not easily accessible there's no. nothing there's the well, main we don't need fuses. to get to there anyway do we now you've got two main fuses right behind there but if they blow there will be a good reason for it. So there will be work involved anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's not really a serviceable part that you have to get to. No. Nah. When the battery's only, you only need to get the battery if we need to change it anyway, really, don't Yeah, you? that should only be in seven to 10 years or something like that's that. That's fine. Hopefully I'm flying, so you know I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got your lights on the back there. Yeah. We use glands to come through. That is all behind the panels on the oh. inside, so you can't see any of the wiring. Yeah, yeah. Then, again, you've got your uh, National Lunar Light, your outlet, so you've got another little charging station there, twin USB accessories, and you can that's plug good. in your solar blanket there. Yeah, that's good. And then, same thing here again, National Lunar Light, and then angle socket for another fridge, Yeah. and an accessory socket for whatever we need to put in there. Or whatever you find, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fuses everything for that. All DC hub there. Yeah. All DC hub. Beautiful. And then you've got your other work light switch here. That's for the rear light. Oh, so that's, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've got one in here that points left and right. Oh. That's for these lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we thought that, you know, because one shines left, one shines right. Yeah, so that is. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then you've got your light bar switch here as well for the light bar. Yeah, that cool. And that's on off the roof, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. You have to. It's a, 
it's otherwise it's, it's not legal. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's about it. You've got Go. the other main fuse in the front here. Yeah. That's the main fuse for the DC hub? That's the main fuse for the DC hub, yeah. That's where all the power for charging comes from. Yeah, right. So that's the only wire, wiring that goes in from the camera. That, yeah, that's the only point where we interfere with the vehicle wiring. Right. Everything else from there is just a standalone system. If you want to disconnect it, all you do is take this fuse out. It's completely independent from your car. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah. That's it? I like that. What about your water? Do you do the water pump and all that? Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing your job for you. Man. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and it's looking so good. We yeah. made sure it actually looks quite neat. That, that looks good, yeah. Good. We put the switch in there and then turn the water pump on there. Beautiful. Perfect. And then also in here, we've got the twin piston compressor with yeah. the tank and everything. Cool. That's, just, that's ready to go as well? Yeah, it is. It doesn't turn on because it's still full of air. We had it running oh, before. Yeah, okay. But we checked that it doesn't have any leaks, so that will probably, yeah. if you leave it like that, it'll probably turn on after a day or something it like will, that. Yeah, yeah. All the wiring, because you got the ARB base rack, which has got cable channels in here. Yeah. So you see the, the wiring comes out here, it goes directly into the roof rack. Yeah. And then you can't see anything. It comes out the side here, goes around, comes out the other side. So there's yeah. no visible wiring on the roof at all. Yeah, that's right. Looks good. I love that waterfall. That looks great. Lovely. It looks, I love it. It's so neat. Cool. So Tidy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite excited about it. Yes, yeah, I. <laughs> I'm excited that you actually use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely won't have problems with not having enough energy. We had no. over 200 watts coming off the roof panel before. Oh, you did. It's just cranking. Yeah.